Hey guys, Pizza here. In this video, we'll be looking at Lu Maoshing PV build and we'll use him in White Star Airship later on. If you want a more in-depth skills analysis, you can check out my previous video in which I'll leave the link in the description box. But know that some skill names may be different in that video, but the explanation is still much the same. And with that said, now let's get into it. First, let's discuss the key PV skills. Lu Maoshing needs to have core level 7 to maximize the potential of his skills. Because at level 7 his skills which are all channeling will not be interrupted anymore. And then Lan Fei will appear at your current location and mirror the same skill that you use. Now for the attack skill, Magic Panda Tofu which deals fire and equal water magic damage, and has a 50% chance to inflict burn which is good for Ronin. And when the cooking succeeds, there will be a dish in the ground that will deal fire magic damage equal to his magic attack. Mountain Treasure's Hot Pot, which increases physical and magic damage of self and teammate within an 8 meter radius by a maximum of 50%. When the cooking succeeds, allies who are within the dish radius will gain a 30% cooldown and cast delay reduction for 10 seconds. Comet Fried Rice, which provides a damage absorption shield to self and teammates within an 8 meter radius equal to your magic attack time. 10. And when the cooking succeeds, the shield duration will be extended to 60 seconds and can now absorb HP loss. Sea Bream, which restores 5% max HP and SP within a 12 meter radius for 5 seconds. When the cooking succeeds, if there are 4 or more teammates within the radius, all of you will get invincibility for 4 seconds. And then Crystal Phoenix, which gives anti fatal for 5 seconds to self and party within an 8 meter radius. When the cooking succeeds, there will be a dish on the ground that you and your teammates can consume which also gives 5 seconds of anti-fatal. The dish can be consumed for 3 times and lasts for 10 seconds. For the passive skills, Coil Dragon Pot which is while cooking, variable casting time and fixed casting time of teammates within an 8 meter radius are reduced by 30%, while also Lu Maoshing will gain an additional 50% CC effect resistance. And then Super Chef, which increases max HP by 5% and magic attack by 10% for every food he eats which can stack up to 6 times. So a total of 30% max HP and then 60% magic attack. As for rune placement, just adjust the attribute attribute runes to death if you want to play as utility in airship, or if as a DPS, equip all the red and yellow attribute runes to increase damage modifiers. Then aim for high first line of Mountain Treasure's Hot Pot rune for additional skill damage increase, and Great Magic Panda Tofu rune to increase the damage by an additional percent, and then the other runes are more on survivability. And then for the arcane runes, War of Preparedness for the Convert of Damage to Extra Shield Layer. And then White Blade for damage increase if there is only one enemy within 5 meters. And then Tai Chi to convert a percentage of the damage received to HP loss, because again Comet Fried Rice can absorb HP loss. Now for stats allocation, note that this is already with Food, Meal Bees, and Mountain Treasures buff. Max Int to increase magic attack and the shield generated from Comet Fried Rice. Then max luck for magic crit damage and to increase chance of cooking succeed to 100%. And then I put the rest to Vit for more survivability. Or you can also put it in STR for his passive skill, Mobile Cooking, which increases his move speed by 1% for every 3 points of strength. But note that it cannot exceed to 100%, so just adjust it accordingly. And then for the overview of my damage modifiers are as follows. Magic Attack, Magic Penetration, Skill Damage Increase, Magic Damage Percent, Magic Damage Increase, Ignore Magic Death, Fire Damage, and then Water Damage. Now for equipments, as always feel free to adjust anything, so if you want to play him as support in airship, just adjust the items accordingly. And since this is a DPS build, here is the random attribute of my ancient equipments. For Palace of Ghosts, use Other Shore Patrol with Elemental Random Attribute for more fire and water damage, and then use 6 pieces of Original Will Juice for Magic Penetration. As for Weapon, I'm using plus 15 Unlimited for a total of 15% fire and water damage, and a 70% magic AoE damage increase. But if you have plus 15 Master Chef's Proof, use that instead because it will give more damage due to its tier 5, which doubles the effect of his passive skill, Forever Spirit Blade. But note that it only doubles the 30% food damage, the elemental balance is not included. 
And as for card options, if you have Keho Star card for an additional burn stack in White Star Airship, and then Seed of Idrisil card for Magic Life Steal, which I use on other instances. Music of Soul for additional 25% magic damage when attacking large monsters. Another option is Wheel of Fortune for more magic crit chance and magic damage. Meow Wave for White Star Airship for increasing target's damage received by 5%. Another option is Unexpected Damage for reducing target's damage reduct by 5%. For other instances, I'm using Cute Blower for damage to monsters and MVP. Magic Firewood for airship for another stack of burn. Then for other instances, I'm using Ocean's Attachment for more damage to monsters and MVP. Economiast's movement for magic crit and magic crit damage. Another option is Chicken Axe if you want to go full debuffer in airship. And then Sweep Bee also for airship to reduce the target's damage reduct by 3%. For other instances, I'm using Rock Bunny for additional damage increase to monsters and MVP. And then here's the side of Shadow Equipment, Oracle Extract, and Relic. Now for the airship run, the MVPs are Spash Higher, Snake Gorgons, Galleon, Seed of Idrisil, and Odd Humbla. And then the affix is Magic Barrier and Trample. Before starting, always remember to eat six pieces of anti-fatal foods, meal bees, and fire controlling alloy for maximum damage output. And then buff up Mountain Treasure's Hot Pot for the 50% damage and magic damage increase followed by Comet Fried Rice for the Damage Absorption Shield. And then spam Magic Panda Tofu to make sure that the Magic Barrier is always broken and to help clear the mobs faster, as well as to attach the debuff effects from our headgears. Always remember to rebuff Mountain Treasures every two minutes. Or you can also just rebuff it always because again, when the cooking succeeds, you and your teammates within the dishes radius will also gain a 30% cooldown and cast delay reduction, which is very helpful so that you and teammates can spam more skills. And same goes for Comet Fried Rice, to make sure that you and your teammates have always a HP shield to sustain the damage of the monsters. Overall, that's all the tip for Lu Maoshing in instances. Just spam Magic Panda Tofu, and then always rebuff Comet Fried Rice for your survivability, and then Mountain Treasure's Hot Pot for a 50% damage increase as well as the 30% cooldown and cast delay reduction. And then remember to use his anti-fatal and healing skills if needed. The reason why I didn't include the other instances is because there are a lot of it out there already. At the first week of his release, I tried playing Lu Maoshing in Legend instances with only Core Level 6, and he clears them easily, so I just focused on Core 7 over 7 and then showcase him in Airship and Palace of Ghosts. And I think that's all for this video guys. How about you guys? Do you think he will be the new staple class in instances? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And also don't forget to like or subscribe to stay tuned for more. See you guys again next time, and thank you for watching.